Hey everybody, welcome to Rider Skills. I'm Neil. This is the channel for motorbike safety advice and riding tips. These trucks will be slow away on the left. Second gear, just leave a little bit of a gap for the old piano accordion. Third, nice, precise, smooth gear changes. Fourth, no point in accelerating, I've got nowhere to go. I'm at the speed limit now. Now at this point, my, this truck here is blocking my view of the bridge, which is on the left hand bend, so I can drop back and have a look over the bridge. No standing traffic there, I know there's lights at the other side. So I'll just ease out here, I can see now where I'm going. Another brow, so it's a 60 road here, because there's lights at the other side, we don't know how far back the traffic's queuing from the traffic lights. At this stage now I can just squirt past the truck, gained a little bit of time and lost none. See my traffic lights, still green. Holding this lane, that Pajero's right up the back side of that white ute on the left lane. And I'm getting, a, I've got a yellow. Now can I change? I'm not gonna do, but what I am gonna do is just stay there. The truck there has moved across a little bit for me. Cheers mate. He's a good driver. How good was that? He was watching for me. What a legend. Big truck and he pulled right across to the left. Love a good truck driver. He obviously appreciated the fact that I didn't go across his front. So a lot of people would have just jumps in front of him and he's got a lot of vehicle to to slow down by me jumping in front of him he's got to find another seven or eight feet of braking why risk it so I stayed behind that one in the right hand lane give him all his braking area he spotted I did, did that and breathed in for me to then wave me forward what a legend gotta love that In Australia, for the last 50 metres there, as long as you're not hindering anybody, you can actually drop into the bicycle lane. With it in your car, or on your motorbike, as long as there's no bicycles there, you can drop in. It saves a little bit of pressure from behind. If you haven't already seen it, have a look at previous upload, I've just done a tyre pressure monitoring gauge, tyre pressure monitoring system gauge, this one here, review. I'll put a link up now. It's a decent bit of kit, I'm very pleased with it. $72 from Australian Direct. <laughs> 